Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to C2C Central. Today we're here live on location like we said we were gonna be weeks ago. We were said that we were gonna do an unveiling and let you know something special about culture and how to hone in on culture and bring people into one location where we could all, all gather together and enjoy the best that our city has to offer. Now, it's been a long time coming, but we have a hard grand opening, a hard launch that's gonna be happening June 30th. Now, we've been keeping the location under wraps, but we're not gonna do that anymore. Here we are at 44 McPhillips. We are at the Legacy Royal Hotel, and in that hotel, in the basement level, now you'll be able to enjoy the Players Club Restaurant and Lounge. Actually, let me say that again, the International Players Club Restaurant and Lounge. So, if you're here with us, I'm Vin Robinson, I'll be your tour today, come along for the ride, and we're gonna show you exactly what the membership experience has to offer. Let's go. Now, the International Players Club is membership based. Now, that gives an opportunity for pros to meet Joes, or Joes to meet pros, however you wanna look at it. The venue holds 300 people. We plan to have somewhere between 200 to 250 people that we'll bring in through membership on a weekly basis. So you have to call in advance in order to reserve your space to be able to come in. We'll have somewhere between 50 to 100 people that could just come off as general admission off the street. It's a little bit unique, but the first time you come to visit, it'll be a $10 cover charge and we'll take it from there. So as I mentioned, it's a walk down the stairs. So come along for the ride. Now, once you enter the venue, you're gonna be greeted by this, our coat check. When you come to the coat check, you'll have an opportunity to check your jackets, be able to get your membership straight and determine what you wanna do for the evening. Then we're gonna take you over to this section right here. One of the most enjoyable plush Seats in the house, you can't go wrong. You'll be able to sit on this seat with your loved ones or whoever else you're coming with and get a nice big shot uh, that will be posted to our social media feed and you could take a, one of those shots for yourself as well too. So this is your group pick. Now, we don't wanna just leave you there. This is all about an experience like going to Nevada, Las Vegas. We want you to feel our culture. We want you to feel embraced and loved like part of our family. So after this point, we're gonna break you down individually and you're gonna come with us one by one. So let's go. So once you're here to this section, you're gonna be greeted by a maitre d'. The maitre d' would say, good evening, Mr. Robinson. You have today a party of six. Um, one by one, we'll take you and lead you to your table. But before we do that, you have already had your group photo. We'd like you to take an individual pic. This is where the real magic starts to happen because you're starting to get your individualization. So you'll get that photo just the way that you like it and then you're gonna get moved on. So let's keep going for a walk here. In our pizza display, or our takeout bar. We're gonna have cultural food that we'll allow you to sample. Little finger foods when you're coming in. Could be a meat pie, could be a doubles, could be a little bust up shot roti, could be a lot of things. But anyway, we just wanna share this cultural food experience with you so that we can nourish you during your visit. At this portion as well, you're gonna be uh, greeted with a mocktail. And when you get down to the end at our shooter bar, we'll be able to top you up if you choose to take it from something that is uh, uh, non-alcoholic to a beverage that is alcoholic. So let's keep going. Once you're in the venue, you're gonna have an opportunity to walk by here, stop by the bar, get your beverage, do what you need to do. This is our shooter bar right here that you'd be greeted at. Now, a couple of things that makes this venue kind of unique once again, is that 
we have different spacing, different seating, different locations. So right now, this is our section that I like to call MVP. So this section here has a minimum. You'll be able to log on to the website and see what that is. Uh, for the people that are following us on our social media feed, the uh, minimum is 250 in order to be in here and you could split that up between four to five people that you choose to be with. In addition, we have another section here that uh, we'll get into right away, which is gonna be called our Pepsi Lounge. And this will allow you to have a mini fridge that is stacked with Pepsi product for your DD that could get you home safe and sound. Not only that, you'll have the benefit of being able to dance right here, uh, right next to the DJ, which is another great thing uh, because you could shake it, move it, and do what you need to do and just enjoy yourself and come out in a leisurely way and enjoy yourself in our great city of Winnipeg. Uh, DJ is gonna be playing top music that you're gonna hear. Uh, terrific experience. And where are we right now? We're in the midst of where a lot of the action is gonna happen. People are gonna be here dancing on the floor, enjoying themselves, doing a few things that they like to do. Why not? It's summertime. There's so much to do. We also have something else that's a little bit different because we just don't want to cater to youth, middle age. We cater to everybody. So we have these seats here that are reserved. We'll call these front row seats. And as you start to look a little bit further back, you'll start to notice that the seats get a little bit higher. So let's call those nosebleeds. Uh, there's something here for everyone, but uh, we're not quite done with the tour yet. A couple of other things that I wanna share with you that will make this experience great. Follow me. Now, in the morning, it, we seem to find it very difficult to find sustenance, some good food, clean food that you can eat. So today, everybody is very health conscious about the choices that they're making. And around the area that we, ha that we are, um, there doesn't tend to be a lot of options. So we really wanted to focus on some quality products that will get you started during the day. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna have some scrambled eggs here going for you on a daily basis. We're gonna have some hash browns going for you on a daily basis. You want your meat? Well, we've got that for you too. We've got some turkey bacon, we've got turkey sausage for you. But if you really need to get your protein in, then that's gonna be your protein flapjacks first thing in the morning. That's gonna come with a cup of coffee and a slice of fruit to get you going. What more else could you want? Now, throughout the entire course of the day in our display cabinet, we're gonna end up with pizza by the slice, wings, and a whole lot of other finger foods that you could offer that we can offer. So it's gonna be terrific. Don't be afraid to check us out on how you can get delivery straight to your door because we're gonna be pumping it out and taking care of you in our community. Now, one other thing as well is that we just can't stop at breakfast. We can't stop at lunch. We gotta continue with dinner. So dinner, this is one thing that I'm really, really, really happy about because we can eat clean. We can have products such as rice, salmon, broccoli. We could have meatballs, fettuccine, a nice side salad to go with that. We plan to nourish you in a way that you haven't been nourished before, still in a quick service method. So come down, chill out with us, and find out what the Players Club has to offer. Now, welcome back to the show. Now, this is one area that we tend to not really want to focus on because there's not much to talk about here, but we know that when we go out, we want to be uh, treated with respect and have some space for our privacy. So that's one thing that we really wanted to focus here on at the Players Club. Uh, so we have washrooms that are very large in space, very well lit and clean, as you can see. Cleanliness is key. They always say, check out the washrooms before you decide to eat. So we wanted to make sure that we are putting our foot at the forefront here to show you cleanliness was one of 
the things that were at the top of our list. Let's go on. Now, birthday parties, anniversaries, there's so much to focus on. Um, and we'll get back to the what's going to be on this table in a moment. But when we go into the women's washroom, it's a little bit different because we tend to find that uh, the ladies always like to fix their makeup, do those things. But when you come in here, why not chill out for a second? You could sit down, uh, take some selfies with your girls, you know, hang out and just chill out for a little bit and uh, then come back out once you're all dolled up pretty and looking great for us. So um, this is another great thing that I'm, I'm happy about because we have four stalls here, four sinks, and some makeup room there for you. So as soon as we're done in this space, we're right back out. And one thing to focus on is when you come out here, we'll have some things for you such as gum, mints, uh, any little things that you might want to get for toiletries, uh, cologne, perfume. So it's important that once you get back, you can fix yourself up, make sure that you look good in the mirror, and you're right back out to your dance floor. Now, if the washrooms were just too busy, you couldn't get an opportunity to get to one of those sinks. You know, I know COVID has passed, but it doesn't stop you from giving a quick squirt, getting those hands clean, and coming back to it. We've already seen this part, but we haven't seen the outside. So for those smokers that still exist, we'll be taking you upstairs right away. We'll be right back. So summer's here, we're ready to vibe, the sun is shining, we've got tables out here, we've got umbrellas, we've got the method to serve you. So that's exactly what we wanna do. So if you need to come out, get some fresh air, uh, it's right here for you, still all within the venue live music outside that you can be entertained by and hear. Uh, so there's no shortage of things to do here in the International Players Club. Come on back in and we'll show you how we can wrap up the evening in a really sweet way. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we were down with a friend of ours, Andrew from uh, Sucrum Brewery. And we were able to partner with Andrew because as we're coming up to the Soka Reggae Fest, there are two beverages that are on a uh, label that you can find all throughout the city at any, any MLCC. One is called Soka and the other one is called Reggae. Uh, today we have something very comparable that's on tap from Sucrums. So we're going to pull the tap, get a pull, and uh, see where the magic happens. So thank you very much to Sucre Brewery for partnering with us here at the International Players Club for being the official headquarters after the Soka Reggae Fest. June 30th, you're gonna see us here. Come down and check us out. Now, it's not enough that you just might wanna to top off your evening with a, a liqueur, uh, an apéritif, or something to that degree, but we are gonna end the evening with something a little sweet. And this is something that I wanna share with you. Now our next section here is a section that I'm really excited about uh, in developing. Just before you leave for the evening, uh, whether it's your after dinner mint, whether it happens to be a bottle of wine uh, that you could take home, whether it happens to be a, a, a goodie, uh, a slice of cake, uh, a dainty, some delicious coffee with liqueur in it, it doesn't matter. This is the station where we wrap up our night. So from the beginning all the way to the end, great experience, great sport, great people, great location, great music, and something sweet to top the night off with. Uh, we're here with Andrew, Andrew Sukram, uh, the owner of uh, Sukram Breweries. Mm -hmm. Andrew, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Appreciate now, it. Now, Andrew, we've got something a little bit in common here. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're both first generation Trinidadian. Guess, Trinidadian. <laughs> That's uh, right. Um, but we're, we're living vicariously uh, through the love of our parents because we are um, bringing this culture to Winnipeg. Absolutely. And, right, and growing the brand. So talk to me a little bit about the growth and the passion and why you do what you do? Well, I mean, it, like it starts with the beer. I just have a passion for 
for making beer and just creating it and sharing it with people. That's like what I love to do. I started as a home brewer and um, ended up winning some medals and stuff like that. Figured out that not only do I love it, but you know I'm okay at it. Mm -hmm. So that that was really where the inception started with, but also just kind of bringing, I guess my unique brand to it, kind of tied to the, the culture as well too. I think that's why the brewery is called my last name. You know, like I, I'm not really that vain. I didn't want to call it my last name, but I couldn't really think of anything that was, was, uh, was better or that would represent my culture more than my last name. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know what? Last name creates the brand. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the beverage, I'm sure once we get a chance to step <laughs> yeah. out there and see what it's all about will resonate with your family name. Yeah. Um, now, you know, you also have a lot of things going on in yeah, here, right? We do. And um, talk to me a little bit about the the steps of design and and thought process. I, I believe you have uh, some family that is part of this. Yeah, with you, absolutely. Right? Yeah. So actually, my partner and um, uh, my wife Kristen, she actually built all these tables and chairs, right. like everything, like the. The, the, the stools, the benches, the stools that you see there, she painted all the pipe, put it all together, did all the wood. Mm -hmm. It was a huge assembly line. So we really kind of wanted to go for that kind of home feel, a little bit sharing sharing tables, all that kind of stuff, right. not have too many separations within the brewery. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, you know, my dad, still a part of it too. He brings our doubles every week and right. um, always talking about it whenever he can, the name and everything like that. So yeah, we, I really wanted it to be a family family business. And you know that Kristen is working full time here for the last couple of years. It's, right. it's, a, it's a family business. Right. So and, it's everything and, I wanted. And, yeah. and when I came in here, that's what I felt was love. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so yeah. you know, um, you know, you could, that's why I'm saying you could, you could see it, you could yeah. feel it. Right. And, yeah, uh, man. and that's why I think we, we needed to start here and, and talk that's a kidding. little bit about culture. Yeah. Right. For sure. All right. Yeah. Now, um, we have some different things around, uh, the building that we're going to take a look at. Sure. So, yeah. First things first, uh, we're going to pay some dues. We're going to head to this commercial break um, and also a key event that's going to be coming up this summer that you don't want to miss. Uh, Soka Reggae right around the corner. Andrew? Soka Reggae Fest that's 2024 right. or yeah. the... Uh main uh, beer supplier, so very, very happy and proud to do that. Yeah. yeah, so we'll get to that beer right away. We'll be right back. And uh, welcome back from that commercial break. We're back here with Andrew at Sucrums Brewing Company. And uh, we're getting into a little bit of the product that's here. Uh, I like to think of this a little bit like the mad scientist because not everybody knows about this kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So talk to me a little bit about the chemistry and we've got so much going on here. So where many going start? on. You know, where do you start? So beer, you know, we don't use any preservatives or anything. It's just four ingredients, water, uh, barley, hops and yeast. Those are the four ingredients that go into our beer. Every once in a while we add fruit and everything like that, but it's all uh, great ingredients. So it's basically those four and that's what beer is all made up of. But within that combination of those four products, there's hundreds of different combinations that you can do. Different styles of malt, uh, different water chemistry that you can do, uh, tons of different hops that you can get that give all kinds of different flavor profiles. And so it's just like cooking. It's playing within those four ingredients and mixing it up. And mm -hmm. you get a stew, baby. There you, <laughs> go. there you go. Okay. So once you've got the roux, you can do whatever you want. Exactly. To do, right? Yeah. And once okay. you know the ingredients and what, know what flavor profile you're after and what your intention is, and then you just try to make it, try to hit the mark as best as possible. Okay. So take me a trip around the world here. Yeah, sure. Uh, what would what would be some of your influences, your your passion? For sure. So I mean, this is our. Uh, uh, probably our highest seller and, and best seller. This is our IPA, which is like my favorite types of beer. Uh, love IPAs, especially, you know, obviously Desert Island. Little uh, homage to, to Trini as well, too. So, you know? so for our viewers that don't know, yeah. IPA. IPA is an India Pale Ale. So uh, usually a little bit higher alcohol content. This one's at 6.5. 
and there's a lot more hops in it. So that doesn't necessarily mean bitter. It means like we've got tropical mango, peach, those kind of flavors that you're going to have in here um, at a little bit higher alcohol percentage of six and a half to handle those kind of hops that you put in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's yeah. keep let's keep it going. So this is actually a little bit different. This is uh, the first core sour that was actually in the city. So it's a sour beer. So we actually drop the pH. That's another thing with the water. We're dropping the pH mm -hmm. of that beer to get that tart kind of refreshing flavor that, that you get. Um, and this one's dry hopped a little bit. So again, there's some tropical that ties into a lot of the stuff that we do here. We love tropical stuff around here. Right. Uh, so that tropical tart, refreshing, kind of easy drinking beer. This is only four and a half, uh, sorry, 4.7%. So a little bit lower in alcohol, mm -hmm. but again, it's that refreshing and there was really a love and a craving for sours when we first started. Right. And so when we released this, um, there wasn't too many in the market. And so it took off like crazy. Mm. Yeah, it was great. Um, anything uh, traditional Irish? Uh, uh, no, not too not much. Here. Uh, not too much Irish in terms of that. Again, there's so many different styles you can get. We just released what's called paparazzi, yeah. which is an Italian Pilsner. Okay. So it's like a... Uh, it's like a German Pilsner, but it's dry hopped. Right. That's what kind of makes it an Italian Pilsner because that style kind of originated there. Okay. Really delicious, crisp, floral, all that kind of stuff. Right. One of our most popular events we have is uh, what's called Beast Mist. So we have a, a, a an Imperial start called an Imperial Stout called Star Beast, um, and so every year we hold an event where we release special Star Beast variants. Mm. It's super popular. And this year we released uh, Trinidadian Black Cake. Oh, wow. So we, it's a 10.5% beer. That's why it's in the shorter can. Right. Um, very rich, dark, boozy, chocolatey, caramel. Yum. So. Now, speaking, okay, so we're on the Caribbean tip here, the yeah. Caribbean vibe. So yeah, yeah. Let's, let's focus on these two here. Nice. So yeah. now we've got an event coming up. Absolutely. Uh, um, so the end of Reggae June, Fest, the end yeah, of June, right? June 28th and 29th. That's right. Um, yeah. And you're the sponsor for 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 the for the beer. Absolutely, okay. we're super proud and happy to do that. Now, yeah. talk to me about reggae, reggae, reggae stuff. Absolutely. So, this was a a, a, a tropical stout. So, um, traditionally in the Caribbean, um, kind of every island has their like lager beer. You know, you've got Carib. Um, uh, stag, what I know. Other right. other islands all have their own kind of brand of, of yellow, fizzy right. um, lager that they have. Uh, but they also have kind of bigger, boozy, dark beers. Mm -hmm. uh, Jamaican Dragon Stout, for example. Right. So I kind of want to capture that uh, and make that here, which was using lager yeast, which you don't typically do in a stout. You'll use an ale yeast mm -hmm. um, and a lot of dark malts, but as well as some cane sugar, which is a locally uh, found product there that uh, can really get us that sweet flavor in the stout. So it's it's a little higher alcohol at 7%, but it's sweeter. Uh, it's good for cold weather, good for hot weather. Right. You wouldn't normally think that with a stout, but with this one, uh, we definitely want to showcase the differences in the brewing. And I really tried to go traditional here as much as I could. I like the colors of the cap. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't matter if you want to go left or go right. Yeah. You're going right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is reggae stout. Right. Love that we we landed on these names too. It's such, so uh, you know, it's the music, it's the festival, and it's the culture, the culture right. and it's within these two cans. You know, soca, as you know, yeah. um, you know, originating from from Trinidad. You know. Reggae uh, coming from Africa yeah. via Jamaica, just right. like that's what is known in those places. So when Soka Reggae Fest came around, it was really like, what can we do to showcase the music, but also showcase the beers? Product, yeah. And so, you know, a lager and a stout. And after the two most popular brands of music that have come out of the islands. Right. Now, yeah. for that education process mm -hmm. for our viewers, I mean, um, you probably have to come down and sample and taste Absolutely. different things and Absolutely. what have you. Uh, perhaps yeah. there's a sample night or something like that. that well, actually, we always offer, so we have around 16 taps. We usually have them full, but we also all, or uh, have flights. Right. So you can come down and get a five-ounce uh, taster or sampler okay. for all of these right. um, and really see what you like. We pride ourselves on having a lot of different kind of um, beer. Mm -hmm. um, so there's something for everybody, right. sour, fruited stuff stouts, IPAs. Um, we have a low alcohol version, Gravity Warp, three and a half percent pale ale. There's non-alcoholic uh, options here as well too. So yeah, really it's just come down, sample, right. see what you love, and then maybe take some cans to go. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're going to cut 
cut to a commercial break. <laughs> and when we come back, maybe we could see the method behind the madness. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And uh, see whether that actually makes this place tick. So uh, we'll be right back. Winnipeg, we've been waiting for something like this for a very long time. It is here for you in all its splendor. We look forward to meeting you down here at the International Players Club. You can log on to coasttocoastsports.net in order to find information on how you could become a member of this terrific venue. We'll be back in weeks to come. Once again, Vin Robinson signing off from C2C Central. Catch you on the rebound. <laughs>